When I was eight, had my first amateur fight. My dad, in the last round, he says, OK, you got to go get this kid. Do you know what a thunderstorm is? I want you to go out there and throw punches like a thunderstorm. Just rain all over him. And I would put Sean down in a track sprinter stance. And he would take off running across the ring, and he would jump on the guy. I'm on this kid. Everything that you had saw from him in the first two rounds in terms of the punches that he was throwing, I gave him all of that and more. If that moment became the basis of Porter's style, it had less to do with boxing than fidelity to his father's word. Unlike Almost all the other boxing dads I know in the game, you didn't want Sean to be a fighter, is that right? I had other visions for him. You know, his grades were really good, played football very well, USA Today Player of the Week, and I wanted him to go to college and get a degree. He didn't say I want to be a fighter. He said, hey, can I talk to you about something? So we went for a walk that lasted an hour. I said, with football, I got 10 other guys I got to worry about. Are those 10 other guys giving it all they got the way that I'm giving it all I have? And boxing is just me and you. We know what we're going to do. Man, you crazy. You going to college. Go play ball. I see you on Saturdays. <laughs> it was a strange choice. Fighters are fashioned from poverty and trauma. That wasn't Sean's life. But it had been his father's. Cleveland I grew up in. The hood, east side of Cleveland, rough streets, drugs, alcohol, prostitution, pimps. Those were my role models. When you were four years old, you lost a brother. Can you take me back to that? We went looking for my mother, and we knew where she was, but, you know, a four-year-old and three-year-old out after dark, not a good situation crossing the streets. We made it all the way to the house where she was actually at, which happened to be a gambling house. So um, he got hit by a car when, as we were crossing that street, and he was killed. He grew up with the blame and the guilt and everything, so much so that it's never going to happen again. And you take a look at my relationship with my dad and how structured and how much he does not want anything to go wrong like that moment. That's, that's where that comes from. You made sure Sean grew up in a different neighborhood than you did. Why? I was told every day I'd be dead or in jail before I was 21. I thought if I put him in a better neighborhood, then he'd go to a better school. But in order to put him in the better neighborhood, I had to get the better job. So I got the better job 45 miles away from where he was born. Jab hook right here, make your move. To say Kenny Porter was a hands-on trainer is putting it mildly. Where's the form? Where's the rest of the punches? Even if it meant sparring with his own son. He broke my ribs one time. When you throw punches, you've created openings to be hit. Smack him upside the head. I've been too hard on Sean lots of times. You know, but me being hard on Sean for the right reasons has always been the reason why he comes back. Every coach tries to create a relationship with their athlete as close to being a father to a son. My dad's always doing the best for me because he loves me. Push, 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 push. But as the years went on, they achieved not mere accommodation but a state of simpatico. His father and son, trainer and champion, and even, in a sense, a surrogate brother. I've jumped out of planes with my son at 18,000 feet. I've ridden camels in the Sahara Desert with my sons. I've won world championships with my son, and now he's a father, and I get to be a grandfather to my little grandson. Team 
2019, Sean and his wife put down roots of their own, buying a home from which they'd raised their own two boys. My son calls me up and says, hey, I need you to come to this address. I put the GPS in, I walk out the house, and it's telling me it's only 500 feet away. I said, why did you buy the house across the street from me? I thought it'd be cool to live across the street from you. Kenny, who raised who? Yeah. I raised Sean, but in a lot of ways, I like to feel like he raised me too. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.